welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Oakland Athletics taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Schaub. So the Oakland A's have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said, but every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today, but there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So almost ready to get underway and towing the slab, Ranger Suarez. What he got on him, Chris? Yeah, he gave up several earned runs his last time out. I think command is a huge issue for him. And fastball command. He's got to trust it. He's got good velocity. Attack hitters with it in this one. So just about set. Now it's the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Leading off of the athletic. The shortstop, Elvis Andrews. And he deals. Lifted in the air, right center field. Jordan racing over to make the catch. And time now to check out the A's lineup. The challenge for him today, Siggy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. Nice, efficient start to the afternoon. That's two out. Batting third, the first baseman, Matt Olson. Two outs, base is empty. Matt Olson up to the plate. This guy has turned into a beast. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization, who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. Yo one. Bounce to the right side. Segura handles. Gets it first. And Olsen is set down. And that is that. Nothing doing there for the A's. Half and incomplete. We've got no score. We go to the bottom of the first. And now for the Phillies, Gene Segura. Leading up for the Phillies. The second baseman. Gene and the pitch. Segura. That one close. Ruled a ball. Ball one. A swing and a line drive at a right field. He can't get there. It's a base hit. That is second. The designated hitter. Alec Bull digs in now. Had the day off yesterday. Throw to the first. Segura dives back in. Another throw over. Yeah, they're keeping him close. And a pitch. In for a strike. One one. pitch there's a strike don't play situation here he's been working up in the zone typically you look for guys to get that ground ball see if he adjusts on this next pick kicks and fires a foul ball he stays alive Segura gets his lead at first with nobody out There's a foul ball.
Phillies fans want a strikeout. Stays alive. And now the lefty. And a swing and a miss. And one out now. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Brandon Jordan. Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. Had an RBI yesterday. One of the two runs they scored in the game. The pitch. And that's through there for a strike. You'll one. Oh, that's on the plate. It's going. Segura on the run. Next offering is foul back. Here's a one two. Started after it, appeal to first, and that's going to be ruled a swing. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the Batting stretch court. after giving up the leadoff no single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Here's Harper now. Pitch. And ball one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next offering is in for a strike. And here it comes. Nope. And it is two and one. Here's Harper, the count two and one. On the ground, right side, Olsen takes it himself. That's the inning. Philly strand one, scoreless after one. New inning getting started, and here is Matt Chapman. For Oakland, the third baseman, Matt Chapman. And a pitch. Oh, just missed. Nope. And now two and nothing. Two oh count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges. Really execute a pitch. Hopefully you can get back into this count. Offering misses and now three and zero. Oh. And a pitch, and so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Leading off for the batter open. now, Austin the Allen. Austin. The pitch. That one blasted deep to right. Pretty well struck. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He leaves the yard to right, and they add a pair. It's 2-0. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. He was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets to jog around the bases. Good that for him. It.
Digging in for Oakland, Chad Pender, 5 for 8 in the series. So he's been hot. First pitch doesn't find the zone. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. On the ground at first. He handles it himself. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track that after the homer. The right fielder, Steven Piscotti. Here's Steven Piscotti. And the pitch. There's a strike. Still only one out here in the inning. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe is an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. Feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. And he deals. Going to count one and two. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't think he's ever way off with his balls and strikes, but yeah, I don't think it's easy to define what his zone is, like you said. And down on strikes he goes, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Jeremy Ironman up next for the A's. Here comes a pitch. Yeah, there's a the ball. At the belt and fires. Foul ball there. Next offering is down low. Two balls and a strike. Two outs. Aye. Three, two now. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's the third out. The A's with a two-run blast. As the A's are on top. You single and ain't looking for no man. Got your own, you ain't got to run a stand. Give me a chance. I got my bands up. Bands up. 20s, 50s. Here at Shy Park, now it's the veteran outfielder, Nick Castellanos. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. The wind of the pitch. And that one hammered. It's gone! Nick Castellanos hits one out the other way. His second of the year, and they inch closer. It's 2-1. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck surface, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that spin. Trevor Story stands in for the Phillies. 
didn't play in the day game it. yesterday, so he Not should be fresh time. for this one. Rubber. And first offering Go is ready. fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Ball one there. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Chris Bryant stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. offering misses and it's one and one next pitch misses and it's two and one kicks and deals Foul ball. One down, base is empty. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Saturday, the first baseman. Three. And digging in for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. The pitch. That's down and in. Bryant leads off second with one gone in the inning. One down, Phillies down a run. Swings through that one. So now one and two to Reese. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. Two down. Batting done. The catcher. JT, Real Muto. And now it is JT, Real Muto. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Next pitch is popped up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. The Phillies get one by way of the long ball. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. And welcome back. Here's a speed threat, Sky Bolt. Leading off for Oakland, the center fielder, Sky Bolt. Suarez, back to work. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Another ball. K 
kicks and fires. And downstairs. That one's in there. Three balls, two strikes. <laughs> Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The 3-2 nope. is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Leading off for Oakland. Back to the top the of the lineup, Elvis, Elvis Andrews. Up next Andrews. for the A's. And a pitch. Hey. And that's in for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate, stand on that double play. The next pitch misses, and one and one. one and one. Runner at first with no outs here. Swings and misses. Now one and two. I'll tell you this. That's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. One, two now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there's one down. Striding now to the plate now for Oakland, Tony Kemp. Tony Kemp. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. The pitch. That clips the corner. Left-hand batter waits, and one and two. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Here's a one-two. Grounded to third, could be two. Over to Sakura. Back to first, double play. And that's it for the inning. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the A's two, and the Phillies one. As we go to the last of the third. Now it's the second baseman, Gene Segura. The second baseman, Gene. And a pitch. Segura. And a strike in there. The other way. Can't get their base hit. Now he'll turn for second. Not in time. That's a leadoff double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against the firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And now it's Alec Ball. Pitch. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. His first homer of the year, and the Phillies take the lead. It's 3-2. He's going to have nightmares.
nightmares about that pitch. Perfect execution. It's not supposed to produce that result. He got hurt by a really good one there, but even a better swing at the plate. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Jordan. Now batting, center field. Wind of the pitch. Brandon Jordan. And strike right there. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The 0 1. Fought off foul. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That one the other way. Line drive, knocks it down. The flip to the pitcher covering. Barely got him for the out. Close play. The lefty, number three. Five. Harper. Bryce Harper to the plate. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. And here it comes. Yeah, that's outside. outside. The wide to kick the pitch. Hey. And a strike. I got one ball, one strike. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Nope. That is strike two. Benny really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next pitch is outside. Punch out there, two away down. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's now hard batting. to bring that right to a field. halt once you've yeah. committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And now for the Phillies, Nick Castellanos. And a pitch. That's through there for a strike. Ground ball up the middle. He dives, but he can't make the catch. He decides to hold on to it, and the defense comes away the with nothing. That's shortstop. Rubber. Story. So, man aboard. Here's Trevor Story now. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. The pitch. Nope. That one Ball missed. One. Ball one, no strike. And now the lefty. Here we go. Line to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a three-two ball game. What you going do? What you going do, man? What you going do? Everything they want, but they want. All set for the start of the inning. And now Matt Olson up to hit. Well, after putting up a nice yeah. inning on offense, got some oh, runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The pitch. Right side. What a stop. On the money. Nice play. Now back. The third base 
Matt Chapman. Next up for the A's, Matt Chapman. Two for seven in the series so far. And a pitch. That one to first. Takes it himself. Him. And a couple of quick outs. Now back. The catcher. Austin Allen. Now here is Austin Allen. He's already homered in this game. The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And a pitch. That one missing inside. At the belt and fires. And now two and one. Kicks and deals. Pitch misses. Ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. And he deals. On the ground, right side. Hoskins handles the chance, and that'll do it. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Phillies three and the A's two. Here at the ballpark, bottom of the fourth, and digging in for Philadelphia, Chris Bryant. The, Phillies, the third baseman, Chris Bryant. Here comes a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Left field. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right now there. That front First shoulder reason. coming open instead of Three. staying closed. If he does oh, that, yeah. he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. The pitch. Hoskins looks at a strike. Second trip to the plate for him. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 oh, now. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing now more fastballs in that location. Hitters, Check especially team. with two Real strikes, have done. to be ready to pull the trigger. Two outs, bases empty. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And first offering is fouled off. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Bounced up the middle. Into the outfield base hit. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and Up took it back where it came from. Right. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Gene Segura, the next to hit. Two for nine so far in the series. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. And he'll one. Good eye right there. Oh. 
Next pitch is outside. Now two balls and a strike. Real Muto off of first with two away. Next pitch is outside. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Kicks and fires. On the ground. Kemp gets it to first. And that'll do it. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Phillies three and the A's two. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Chad Pender. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs. Obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. The pitch. Well, made it so comfortable for his club to secure that win. Very fresh team today, and it doesn't have to be all on him, but the way he's been swinging it, I expect him to have another big one. The 1 0. He swings and fouls one off. And here it comes. Sorry, that's a High chopper to third. Bryant picks it up, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. The battle, the right field, Steven Piscotti. Digging in for Oakland, Stephen Piscotti. The pitch. That takes low for ball one. Counts one and oh. Next offering is in for a strike. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we were expecting performance-wise. Yeah, but great pitchers like this, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to him, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ballgame. One and two here. Pitch misses there, and the count is two and two. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Two two now. And that's down and away. pitch and a foul ball he stays alive and the pitch got him now two away next is the designated hitter Jeremy Ironman Jeremy Ironman And a pitch. That's Just a missed. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Next offering is downstairs. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at-bat strikeout. And now the lefty. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove.
and a pitch. Strike two. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You gotta step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Two outs. In the air, center field. Jordan under it. And that is that. A's go quickly and quietly there. They trail it. 3 2. Back here in Philadelphia. Now the number two hitter, Alec Ball. For the Phillies, the designated hitter, Alex. Pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. He steps on the bag and a quick out number one. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Brandon Jordan. And now Brandon Jordan, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate but also in the field. Singy, you gotta appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And the first pitch misses for ball one. He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. Next offering upstairs. The wide to kick the pitch. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Fouls one off. 2-2. Two two. A wind and a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. And that one tracked down by Piscotti out in right field. And there's two down. The left field, number three. Run. Two outs, bases empty. Harper. And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Bryce Harper. Line of the pitch. To the right side. Olsen steps on the bag. That ends the inning. Five innings complete. It's the Phillies three and the A's two. And welcome back. Top six. And here is Sky Bolt. The center field. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases. And pick up a run. Going one. This guy's got such oh, yeah. a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. The pitch. No, that's cool. And a foul ball. Light drive, and that's a base hit. Up next to open, the shortstop, Elvis. Here's Elvis Andrews. 
and here it comes. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. At the belt and fires. And that's in for a strike. One and one. Bolt aboard here at first with nobody out. Next one's off the plate. Two and one. Move to first. Bolt gets back easily. On the ground, two ball. Story. Quick feed to second for one. On to Hoskins. Double play. Up next for Oakland. Nice soft hands on the backhand right there in the six hole. Starts the double play. That's not an easy throw, but he puts it on the money. Really good job to get that double play started. Here's Tony Kemp. Suarez back to work. Ball one. Good eye in that spot. Ball one, no strike. Kicks and deals. And that one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Ball two. Two ball, one strike. Good eye right there. I got three one. Three ball, one strike. And he walked him. Nope. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Here comes a pitch. Olsen in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. And a pitch. Stays alive. The pitch. In the dirt. Not in time. He's safe. That's a wild pitch in the tying run. Moves into scoring position. Now he breaks as bad as his foot in play. And it's just foul. That is close. Man on second, two down. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Swing and a miss. And that is that. 
We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Phillies three and the A's two. We're at Shy Park, bottom of the six. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. For the Phillies, the right field. Nick Castellanos. And he deals. Out towards right center field. Bolt makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfect. Here's Trevor Story. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Movement in the bullpen, Brent Honeywell Jr. The rookie right-hander is getting loose. Juan getting loose as well. And that one is lifted in the air. And that one tracked down by Piscotti out in right field. And Story is out. And there's two down. The third baseman. Red. Here's Chris oh, Bryant yeah. now. The wind of the pitch. In the air, out towards left center. Bolt makes the catch, and that'll do it. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. But they're up three to two. Pitching change here, Connor Brogdon. Trying to protect this lead. Number 75, Connor Brogdon. We go to the top of the seventh. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Matt Chapman. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie-in run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. And the pitch. There's the strike. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Sir Anthony Dominguez getting loose out there. Alvarado getting cranked up as well. The tying run at the plate. And now it's even up. And the right hander deals. And misses inside. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if you will. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Next one off the plate inside. And the count is filled up. Bryant makes the catch. And there's one down. Up next for Oakland. The catcher, Austin Allen. Austin Allen up next for the A's. The pitch. That one outside. And that's ball one. And a 1-0. -oh. And he chases that one below the zone. On the ground, right side. Segura collects. Segura throw to first. And that quickly, two away. The left the Pinder. Chad Pinder now. The 
pitch. That's a strike. And the righty deals. And ball one. Righty delivers. That one hammered center field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. And the A's are gone in order. And it's still a 3-2 ball game. Friends Honeywell Jr. will take over here. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Number 22, Brent. Honeywell Jr. Bottom of the inning, and now it's going to be Reese Hoskins. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we see more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Andres throws the first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. The batter, the catcher, JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto steps in. The wind of the pitch. Ball one there. Count one and oh. And another ball. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. The wind to kick the 2-0. There's a strike. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a swing and a miss, down on strikes. Two gone now. Gene Segura at the plate two. here. Second baseman, he's And a pitch. There's the strike. Next pitch, not close, up high. Next one misses. And it's two and one. Right-handed reliever. That Whoa, misses. Like that. And that's ball three. Back up the middle in a base hit. And now it's Alec Bohm. His two-run homer back in the third was an important swing of the bat in this one. Yeah, there's no doubt he helped set the tone fairly early and certainly part of the reason why they've got the lead right now. And the pitch. It's a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. It's ahead in the count. Yo, one. Next offering is outside. Soft contact in the air. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Now battle, 
center fielder, Brandon. First and second, Jordan. two down. Here's the center fielder, Brandon Jordan. In there for strike one. Here's your one. In the air, left field. Pinder moving under it. And that is the inning. Phillies leave a couple. They still lead it 3-2. Trust me when I tell you no exceptions to the rule. Bringing blessings when I move. Special on my essence, I'm a boo. Chris Sir Anthony Dominguez has checked into the game. And he'll work on holding this lead. Yo, big guy. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's Steven Piscotti. Leading off of the athletic. The right field. Steven Piscotti. The wind of the pitch. That misses, and that's ball one. Action in the pen down there. Corey Knievel up and loosening in the pen. Alvarado, the power lefty, up as well. The one up. And a foul ball, third base side. Here's a one one. Foul ball. Next offering is foul back. The one two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. pitch swing and a miss and he has got on strikes for the third straight at bat pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning down one any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting but now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something and just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate now with the plate Jeremy Ironman in there and it's on one Offering way off the plate. And a count one and two. The wide to kick the pitch. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. Now batting the center fielder, Sky Bull. So Your they're making a move for a bat off the bench. The Jonah Bry looking Number for six. a two-out spark with the Jonah bases empty. Bry. Here comes a pitch. Looked like it was a little bit up. Foul ball. And the next pitch is way outside. That one in for a strike, two and two. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. Kicks and fires. And that one fouled off.
and here it comes. And now it's three and two. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Got it. The big righty strikes out the side. And one, two, three go the A's. They're down three to two. Seth Brown into the game as a defensive sub now defensive and he'll take over in center athletic. now playing center back here at the ballpark Number ready for the bottom of the eighth and now Seth. here is Harper Brown. the pitch and there's the strike well they say it's the best pitch in baseball strike one you get ahead on a good hitter as well he's a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat The next offering misses. One and one. And a pitch. My drive, base hit. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. The right-hander back to work. Inside corner, that's a strike. Strike one. pitch on a line base hit lead runner to second so two on and nobody out now that not shortstop Trevor, Trevor Story oh, comes hey. up to the plate and the pitch right through there for a strike And he'll won. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. Pulls it in on the warning track. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Now that the third baseman. Chris. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. The pitch. That one's in there. And that's oh, strike one. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue finish off this hitter. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Right into the plate. Got him looking. And there's two away. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter to play, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that. But just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. And he deals. Hoskins pushes a foul. offering his foul back. Harper, the runner at third. Castellanos on at first with two down. Back to the mound. He's got it. Throw on to Olsen. Play made. That ends the inning. Through eight full. It's the Phillies three and the A's two. Back 
down. And on the mound, the closer, Corey Knievel. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Back here in Philadelphia, all set to start the ninth in this one. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Elvis Andrews. So important to stay within yourself, especially for this hitter. Not known to be a power guy or a home run hitter. He needs to set the table by getting on with a walk or a base hit. First offering, misses the ball. That hits the dirt, and now 2-0. That's in for a strike. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Real Muto makes the play, and there's one down. There's always a concern when running over towards the dugout because of that on-deck circle. There's usually a bat, a weighted bat, a donut, a pine tar rag. Catchers have to be really heads up to avoid that stuff. Here's the second baseman, Tony Kemp. And a pitch. And now just two outs away. At the belt and finals. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Hoskins puts it away. Two down. Now back. The first base. Matt Olson. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Knable back to work. And there's the strike. Late the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And he's got it. Bogey. And the Phillies salvage the finale of this three-game series. Well, when you're on a seven-game losing streak, you've been both bad and unlucky. This win will be their reset button. I think now, all of a sudden, the ball will start to bounce their way. And before you know it, they'll be getting those breaks, and the other team will go home frustrated. A 3-2 final score in this one. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chum. Talk to you soon.